Hey, New Hope, Pastor Kerry here. You know, being stuck at home here reminds me that in times like this, or any time of crisis, new concepts and phrases and terms emerge that we never even heard of before the crisis began. For example, who ever heard of social distancing or shelter in place before coronavirus came along? Sure, we all have people we'd rather avoid. Now I guess we just have a name for it. But in the midst of this current crisis, we're having to keep our distance even from those we love the most. And that doesn't sit well with most people because God didn't create us to live at a distance from one another or isolated from the rest of society. He made us to be in relationships. Even the mission he gave us involves being connected to those who still need to know him. But how can we do that effectively when the authorities are telling us to stay away from each other? Well, let me suggest four ways that we can actually enhance our connection to each other and to God in the midst of a time of social distancing and self-quarantine. And I'm going to use four C's. The first C is considerate. Be more considerate. Don't forget about those who may have already struggled with feelings of loneliness or isolation even before any of this began. Maybe they're shut in in a place like a nursing home or other care facility. And while you may not be able to visit these places, you could make a phone call or send a personal note. Or maybe you've got an elderly neighbor who lives alone and could use you to deliver some groceries. Just make sure your hands are clean and you stay six feet away. Secondly, connected. Be more connected to your family. With all the kids off school and so many parents working from home or choosing to self-quarantine, you can either feel like you're just cooped up or you can choose to spend more quality time together. It's so easy when life goes on as usual to come and go and to cross paths but never really interact. So in the weeks ahead, take time to have dinner together, get outdoors, play games, or just talk about some things you haven't talked about in a while. Now I realize at times it's gonna be easy to get on each other's nerves, but instead, Learn to appreciate those who God has placed in your life and get better connected to your family. The third C is be creative. If you're part of a ministry team or life group or shared interest group or class that can't come together right now, which is all of us, then find ways to stay connected through your social media or use one of the apps or platforms that are available from Google or Microsoft, Facebook, Zoom, uh, that can help you create unique videos, uh, do group chats, virtual gatherings, live streams, all kinds of ways to stay connected. In fact, I talked to our photography and video group about using their equipment to show some of the techniques that are available right now, or our craft groups can show what they're up to, or our exercise groups can do a virtual gathering where everybody participates from their home. A lot of you know more about this stuff than I do, and you can think of all kinds of creative ways to stay connected uh, to each other during this time of social distancing. Finally, and most importantly, be more committed. And I'm talking about our commitment to God. The fact that we can't gather together in this building shouldn't mean that our spiritual life takes a hiatus. We may need to practice social distancing in order to prevent the spread of illness, but I guarantee you, God is not distant from any of us, and he is never hesitant to touch you right where you are now. He knows exactly what you're going through, and he's with you every step of the way. So while you may feel more isolated from others than ever before, I can assure you that God is not distant from any of us. You know, the Bible tells us at the end of Acts chapter 17 that from one man, God created all the nations and he appointed a specific time and place when you and I would be here. And it says that he did this so that we would seek him and perhaps reach out and find him, though he is not far from any of us. Now I know in tough times, it might feel like God is far away or standing at a distance, but those feelings should never overshadow our faith because God tells us the same thing he told his people in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse eight, that the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. So do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. So no matter how we feel or what we're going through, God is always with us. Psalm 4610 says, God is our refuge and strength. He's an ever present help in times of trouble. That means he never leaves us. In fact, even when people try to escape God's presence, Psalm 139, seven says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I rise up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of dawn and go to the uttermost part of the sea, even there, your hand will be with me. So while we may not be able to get closer to other people, 
or participate in a lot of activities that we did under normal circumstances, and we've all got a little more time to ourselves, we can make the most of that time by using it in a way that brings us closer to God. So if you find yourself with a little extra time on your hands, rather than binging on Netflix or Hulu, spend a little extra time in God's Word. Or gather with your family to watch our live stream, or worship and pray together, or go to our website to find all kinds of great opportunities for the entire family to stay connected to the church and a lot of other great biblical resources, including a ton of great stuff for youth and kids. So, if we use our time wisely over the next several weeks, or however long, then you may experience more distance from other people, but you may find that you've never been closer to God. So just remember, while social distancing is meant to limit our contact with other people and to diminish our exposure to a deadly virus, God is not limited by social distancing. He is always near. And if we continue to recognize and respond to His presence, and we continue to pursue His purposes, then we will be more considerate of others. We'll be better connected to those we love. We'll be more creative in our communication. And we may just reach a new level of faith and commitment to God. Even in the midst of a crisis, you may find yourself closer to God than ever before. As the Bible tells us in quite a few places, draw near to God and you'll discover just how near He's always been to you. So, through it all, be at peace, keep the faith, and I'll see you soon.